welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole Zan. Hello to everyone. If you're a new subscriber, if you're someone that's new here and not subscribed, make sure to subscribe. Um, it's free, so do it. <laughs> Today I am going to be talking to you about hair and hair products, specifically silicon. So I have had a crazy hair journey that I think I really want to share with the world. So it is about my hair and kind of what I've discovered across the years about hair and hair products and just in general just about hairdressers and just my own experience which I think I can really recommend and give you advice about. And yeah, so stay tuned for the video. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my hair journey and then I'm going to move into like silicon, silicon, what is silicon, silicon products and so forth. So first of all, my hair journey. So growing up, I always wanted to like color my hair, bleach my hair, grow different colors and I thought my hair could always do that because being naive and young, I always thought, oh, that, like, I can go blonde. You're like, you know, hairdressers can do that kind of thing. And my mum was always the one to be like, don't go permanent. Like, don't do stuff to your hair. It's damaging. Blah, 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 blah. And I was always like to my mum, you don't know what you're talking about kind of thing. My mum knows what she's talking about. But, like, I, being that teenager child, was like, like you have no clue mum like I know what I'm doing and essentially I always kind of said that I wanted to go to all these different colours and my mum was like no don't go permanent so I always went non-permanent colours saying that that was still just as damaging for my hair so I've been colouring my hair since about the age of I would say probably 16 17 maybe at towards the end of high school being year 11 year 12 and I've been doing it ever since about, I've been colouring my hair since till the end of last year. Now I don't do anything to my hair, I don't bleach it, I don't colour it and I'll explain reasons why. Also, this video is going to have two parts to it. The first part is be about my hair journey, how to identify silicon if it's in your hair, what is silicon, what products have silicon and then the second part of this video which I'll upload later will be how to get rid of silicon in your hair and how to avoid silicons. So back to this. So what to say? Oh my god. And the worst part is I literally planned everything I'm going to say and I'm still like messing this video up. Like I said, I've been colouring my hair, bleaching it, dyeing it for a very long while. I started to go permanent. I think when I started uni, so I've been going using permanent colours for about four years. I've used supermarket permanent colours, I've gone to the hairdressers for permanent colours, I've bleached my hair. About two years ago, I decided to, want to well, I wanted to go blonde, I wanted to set a picture here, and it was not a good idea. Basically, I had so much build up of different colours that mm, going blonde was not a good idea. I wish my hairdresser kind of talked about this a little bit more to me. Now they talk to me about it a lot. They didn't at the time. So at the time that I was going blonde, my hair was pretty much rejecting the bleach. So if your foils or like the aluminium that they put on your hair starts to go warm and the bleach is going warm, essentially that tells the hairdresser that, that, that their client has silicon in their hair and basically you don't want to be bleaching your hair if you have silicon in it because it's so damaging to your hair. So I continued to bleach it, I think I've had about three sessions to the point that I realised that my hair could not stand it anymore. My hair was literally frying off and I haven't done this for a very long time, this is the first time I was going blonde, this is the first time I was bleaching and my hair was literally breaking on the floor. I remember like taking pictures and I was like, my hair is like literally, like, I would brush it and it was just breaking. And what happened was my hair was so fried. I would wake up and I would have knots in my hair. I couldn't straighten it because it wouldn't stay straight. I couldn't curl it. It wouldn't curl anymore. And I had to continuously brush it because it just knotted. So my hair was pretty much done. And the funny thing is my hair was so, th my hair is really thick. 
So my top part was really thick and then my bottoms were that wispy and the, this middle part would just be all tangled. So I essentially was like, I really have to cut my hair off. So that's why last year I decided to snip all of my hair. And I didn't want to do that because I've always wanted to have long, beautiful hair. But the thing is, I couldn't have blonde hair and long hair. So I had to cut it off. So I gave myself a really good chop. I had my hair almost up to my belly button and I cut it like just above here. Get rid of it. There was just, I couldn't dye it because once I started going blonde and I realized that it wasn't working, I also went back to another hairdresser and I decided to go back to being dark. But the thing is, when you have silicone and you've bleached your hair, your hair just won't hold in colour anymore, unfortunately. That is just the reality. So everything that I was putting in, my hair was now rejecting it. And I was just stuck in this disgusting orange toned hair colour. I love orange hair, but this wasn't even orange. This was just disgusting. And not only that, I had different band colours. I had different tones in my hair. My hair was just absolutely rank. And I even went through the process of actually trying to save my hair with or Oroplex? Oroplex? I think that's what it's called. There's just nothing that can fix your hair. Like once your hair is damaged, you have to cut it off. There's just absolutely no hope for your hair to be fixed. No product can actually fix that damaged hair. I do not believe that. I've tried, I even tried expensive. I've spent like hundreds of dollars on trying to fix my hair and there was just absolutely nothing for it until, until the point I had to cut it. My hairdresser then told me once I was cutting off my hair, they are like, you have silicon in your hair. And I was like, cool, what is silicon? And they're basically like, if you want to go blonde, you cannot have silicon in your hair because it just, it has a chemical reaction and basically your hair will go orange and break off. Cool, so I've now cut my hair off, now I know that, cool. And she was basically telling me every single supermarket product has silicon in it. And I was like, oh, cool. I've been using my shampoos from, you know, the supermarkets for years. I've been, you know, my, that's what my parents have bought me. I didn't know that it had silicon in it and I didn't know how damaging silicon was. So I was like, okay. So now I've cut my hair off. I still didn't like my colour because I don't like my natural colour. Continue to dye it and cut it. <laughs> and I was always like, why is my hair just... Nothing was holding in my hair anymore and I think it's because I still had like this much left over of bleach So even though I cut my hair, I still had this much Like this amount of bleach still in my hair I have had silicon in my hair So I thought I'll just keep coloring it and it just was not the case and I found out it's because I had I had silicon in my hair which makes me go to come to the next point. So what is silicon? So having a quick Google, silicons are also known as polysilicons. Uh, so it's a synthetic compound. It's like a fake shine for your hair. So essentially all supermarket products will have it is because it gives you a fake and synthetic feel. So it will make your hair feel very fresh, very nice. It gives you a nice shine and then it doesn't in a couple of days. So it gives you a very temporary fake feel but it's not good for you. So I always was wondering why my hair got so super duper oily so quick and I always was wondering why my hair just didn't want to do the things I've always wanted to do and that's because I had silicon in it and I still have silicon in my hair and I'm actually going through the process of getting rid of it which I'll talk about to you in the second part of the video but essentially I have silicon in my hair. So silicon is actually not good for you. I don't know who in their right mind will ever tell you that silicon is good. Some people do love it and some people do not care to have silicon in their hair. But if you are colouring your hair, if you're bleaching it or you care about your life or the life of your hair, you essentially do not want that product in your hair and it takes an awful lot to get rid of it to the point that... Which I'll talk about later. 20 minutes later. Okay, I'm back. Funny enough, my card ran out of storage, so I quickly like took it out, put it into my laptop, put all the footage, and I'm back. I decided to actually take down my hair and show you what it looks like. I, I just realized this actually might be a really long video, but that's okay because there is essentially a lot I need to talk to you about to make 
this makes sense and kind of tell you everything about silicon. I was saying what products have silicon in it and why it is bad from memory. <laughs> but yeah, silicon is so damaging to your hair. Right now I'm going to insert some footage of my hair in natural sunlight. So as you can see, my hair actually does have a, still a lot of different bands. I am through, going through the process of growing out my silicon and not only growing out my silicon but all those colours that are in my hair. My hair now is just the most weirdest texture. Not only that, it just doesn't do what I want it to do. My hair's dry. Ever since I've combined silicon and bleach, my hair has never been the same. Even now, putting colour in and trying to fix it how I thought I could fix it, it just, there's nothing that can really help with my hair. Silicon has really destroyed my hair like I honestly I feel like I am living proof to tell you that silicon is extremely damaging to your hair and I can't tell you enough that silicon is actually in a lot of products which is really scary and it's scary to think how much consumers and retail and all that lies to us so I'm going to talk about that now okay so what products have silicon in it Basically, any product that you find in the supermarket has silicon. Not saying all, pretty much most. There are products that I think might not have silicon in it, but I'll still do research to see if it does. So, silicon isn't just titled as silicon. It, they give it lots of different names. And they're getting very creative with the way and hide silicon. Because there are a lot of people that do not want silicon in their hair, so they give it weird names. I know that silicon has lots of different names. Most know that silicon ends with, usually ends with O and E and I and E. Basically, you really want to be putting into Google what is silicon and the different names it has. Link down below the different names silicon has to hide in your products to say that it's not silicon. It's kind of funny because it says like goodbye damage like this one for example by Garnier Fruits. For example Garnier says goodbye damaged hair but look you know you're getting silicon in your hair which is damaging your hair more. But it gives you a fake feel for a little bit so yes your hair will feel great it did for me as well and then in the long run it's so damaging. One that's called as Amodimethicon cone. So it ends with C-O-N-E and that is a silicon. It is silicon in it, but it's not titled as silicon. So just know that there's definitely still silicons in here. It's a shampoo I used for the longest time. I now use Herbal Essence Bio Renewal. This says it has zero silicons in it. I do actually believe that this one has no silicon in it. I did go through it and have a look at everything and it appears it does not have a silicon in it. Friend, which is conditioner, and I thought I was doing really well because I was like, oh, I got shampoo and conditioner, so this one has no silicon in it, so therefore this one has no silicon in it. And then when I went back to my hairdressers, they're like, you still are using something that has silicon in it, and little did I know, it was the conditioner that had silicon in it. This does have silicon in it. So at the moment, this is the only product that I put into my hair because I haven't gone out and bought myself currently what I use and I do believe this has no silicon in it but it's friend the conditioner does have silicon in it which kind of makes sense because you would obviously think that the conditioner is the thing that's going to be making your hair smooth so yes no silicon silicon and, and shoulders I don't use this one but my mum does it has a lot of silicon in it it's penethamicanol which is spelt ends with a-n-o-l silicon in it so there's silicon in that dove there's silicon in this you can just look at the back figured that out but those have silicon in it and now for the fun stuff I always thought shampoo conditioner are the two things that have silicon in it well it's just not the way it is there is actually silicon in a lot more products than I thought because when I went to the hairdressers and they told me I still have silicon in it and they did this test which I'll talk to you about in a second and how you can figure out you have silicon in your hair when they still said I have silicon in my hair, I could not figure out why. I thought I was using products that had no silicon in it. So my conditioner had it, so that was one thing. But I was like, I don't always use conditioner, so I can't see how that sort of so much silicon. And then I was like, Nicole, have a look at your other products. So I did. So one of this is Total Results Matrix 20, which is a treatment solution. There is silicon in it. There is there are at least three forms of silicon in here. Now, this is Frizz Ease. I use this because I saw a Riverdale star use it. Naive me. But 
but they were advertising this and I realized that my hair was getting really really frizzy which is another reason why if you're using silicon your hair just gets damaged and one of the repercussions of that is frizzy hair like little things on the top which I have I thought I'd buy myself some frizz ease it's not cheap and it just does not do the job you want this to get rid of your frizz and it can't even do that not only does this have silicon in it which is horrible for your hair it also does not do its job it literally did not put down my frizz and if anything I had to wash my hair because it left like the weirdest residue and, and it made my hair oily which is again another thing that silicon does which is what these products have done so for example this conditioner always made my hair oily it made it feel really great for a split second and then so there is a silicon in this. Hate that, that's going in the bin after today. Frizz Ease is not working for me. I need oils to help me put down my frizziness. So I went and I got myself this, I can't actually pronounce this company's name. Extra Care Hair Repair 6 Miracles Oil Essence. I bought this and I was like, yay, this is going to help repair my hair because I have damaged hair. It's going to help with my frizziness. But little did I know, it has a silicon in it. The first two products actually are silicon in it. I used it once and then I realized there's silicon in this. And this wasn't cheap either. So if I think about all the products I've bought, the money it costs now that I can't use them and how damaging, it's really sad. And at the end of the day, like I shouldn't be having to spend money to fix my hair, especially think that these products will fix my hair, but they're actually damaging my hair. What I can recommend. Basically, do your research, go to a supermarket, have a look at what you are buying and what are the ingredients in that in those products and think about are they is there silicon in it? Because I can tell you now, silicon is damaging your hair. You are putting plastic into your hair. It is a plastic type of coating and you are putting that into your hair. And I know some people know what silicon is, but I honestly have just figured out this year what silicon is and how damaging it is in the long run it is just making your hair not breathe and it's just damaging it how can you test that you have silicon in your hair okay there are a couple ways you can figure out you have silicon in your hair the first way is to do the scissor test which is pretty much what it sounds like you can grab a pair of scissors and just run your scissors through I grab some scissors and I just went through it and I just like run it along like this. This white little powder comes off. But if it, oh, focus on my finger. There's definitely not a lot of it on there. That powder stuff is silicon. And if you have that, you know you have silicon buildup. So you basically do not want to be dyeing your hair, bleaching your hair when you have this in your hair. One way you can figure out you have silicon. If you have silicon, your hairdresser should also be telling you have silicon. So if you go to the hairdresser and you want to go blonde and then you can feel that your hair is getting hot, they should honestly be telling you you have silicon in your hair. But sometimes they won't tell you that because sometimes they want you to go through the process of bleaching and then for you to figure out that it's not good so you'll dye it again. And it's just like this whole process. But that is another way you can figure out you have silicon is if you have like an oily residue. My sister had this for the longest time. So I used herbal essence, planning that her hair was getting so oily within one night. So she would wash it the night before she went to bed in the morning. She would have like a huge buildup of silicon. And then it just like clicked to her that she had silicon in her hair. Huge buildup of oils and you've realised that you've washed it one like the night before. And then you wake up, you have silicon in it. Like not silicon, you have oil. Like really oily hair. Okay, that's another way to figure it out. Another way is your hair is really dry. So if you run your hair through and you can feel like it's really dry, you have silicon in it. If you look at your colour, if you look at your hair colour and you see that it's like not holding in colour or your hair is kind of like blotchy which I've shown in my sunlight but again you have silicon in your hair so there are a couple of ways of figuring out you have silicon in your hair the best way is honestly to just run sharp scissors down and then just to see if there's that white powder residue that way you do know you have silicon and if you have silicon in your hair do not stress because I'll tell you in part two how to get rid of silicon. I'm currently in the process of trying to get rid of it. 
another way I'm trying to avoid from damaging my hair or making it worse is actually giving my hair a break. So at this current stage, I'm not bleaching it, I'm not dyeing it, I'm trying to use as little heat as possible, so including the hairdryer, strainer and curler, and just letting my hair repair itself because no product, no hair color, nothing will fix it. You just have to essentially let your hair do its trick, which I'll talk to you more about in part two. This video will probably be very, very long and I apologize, but there is just a lot to talk about. Again, just a quick recap. What is silicon? Silicon is plastic essentially in your hair. It is fake, it is disgusting. You don't want that in your hair. Is it good or bad? Bottom line, it is so bad for you. I don't care who tells you what or what company tells you what. It is bad for you. I am living proof it is bad for your hair. It may be good for a little while. It might be good for a day. It might be good for a night. I don't know. Long term, it is damaging. What products have silicon in it? <laughs> a lot. Essentially, you want to be getting your shampoo and conditioner from someone like the hairdressers and paying a little bit more or just taking the time and doing the research and seeing if your supermarket shampoos and conditioners have it and actually staying away from products like these because one they don't do the job and two they're full of silicon in it so don't put it in your hair and like for example heat protect just use less heat <laughs> instead of putting this stuff there's basically nothing that is going to protect your hair or fix it you <laughs> yeah bottom line so like I said thank you for watching if you watch this whole video I hope you enjoyed I hope you became educated I wish I became educated earlier about all this but yeah I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon with a part two in part two I'll talk to you about how to get rid of silicon how to avoid it and pretty much just how to get rid of it how to get rid of it and how to not bring it back into your life but that will be it. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like this video and make sure to subscribe. Leave a comment if you want to know something more about silicon or if I missed out something on silicon and I need to put in part two. Let me know. Write a comment. This can save yours. So yes, I wish someone was here to tell me not to do that. I wish my hairdresser just told me, Nicole, you have silicon in your hair and you cannot go blonde or you should not be dyeing your hair because you have silicon in it. That's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon, guys. Bye.